TLO, what's poppin'? If we are on Twitch, we are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Even though I live in the South now, I live in Miami, Florida. It's another rainy day. Days like this and starting in Chicago. <laughs> Anywho. Americans living abroad. First time you realize America really messed you up. TikTok 2021. When this video come out? Before we even go anywhere. Hey, hey, hey ma'am. Alright. Y'all know what it's time to do. It's time to give y'all my urban, my urban, my urban perspective on this. Let's see. Even though I couldn't even relate because I don't live abroad. But i never even been out the country. So, you guys see my title? I switched it. I'm trying, trying something new, see if it reaches more people. If I put American Reacts instead of American Dude. And that made you realize that America, what is one, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? Okay, I have type one diabetes and I lived in Costa Rica. The very first day that I was there, my insulin pump stopped working. This was like some weird fluke unrelated to anything else. Okay. But I didn't have a doctor yet or really know where to go. So I went to a pharmacy because I needed to get long acting insulin so I could still treat my disease. Don't tell me they didn't have insulin there. And when I went to the pharmacy, the insulin was $20 for a vial. In the United States, I pay three hundred and twenty-two dollars for that same vial. Oh yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that, Miss. You didn't know that that we that we on the healthcare side, we are man, we are getting over on people out here. It's some like it's like some book where they upcharge you, like it's a bunch of charges in a book, and they just it. It is what it is, man. You gotta make that money. So I want to add that what I got the insulin over the counter without a prescription. In the United States, I have to see my endocrinologist four times a year to get a prescription for a medication that keeps me alive. Wow. American currently li you see? living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America? Oh, so we gonna she gonna come up every time. Really messed you up. So I am an American living in Paris. I studied in both a French university and an American university. Okay. Due to my American university, I'll be paying off my student loans until I'm 50, maybe even 60. Schooling was free or something? Whereas for my French degree, nothing. Nada, because it was free. Free 99. F-R-E-E. -E, gratis. Gratuit. Complete. And hey, you know that degree doesn't transfer if you come to America, right? Is that... Am I lying? Am I talking... Or does it not transfer? The French one when you come to America. Because I heard from a lot of like people that come from other countries into America that are doctors and dentists. They're not doctors and dentists no more in America because the degree didn't. It's not the same over here. Well, not completely free, but still free. Tough. American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? I was living abroad in the UK and I had Okay, here we go. a job interview. And of course, growing up in the US, you're conditioned to dress so professional, be prepared, have your resume and, and all these things. So I was like that really much. And I remember walking into the interview and they were like, oh, wow, you look really snazzy. And I was like, uh, okay, <laughs> I'm for an interview. Then this oh, they called you snazzy. Oh, wait. Okay. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. This is good. Come on. Snazzy. And I was like, uh, okay. That first of all, I've never heard that before in an interview. Then the secondly, they didn't even ask me anything besides, hey, Kyle, would you like a cup of tea? And I was like, uh, okay. They asked you for some tea? Never was asked that before ever in any other job interview. Okay. We had a tea and we literally like sat. Chopped it up. And talked about all sorts of stuff personal life their life and we just had a laugh for like 45 minutes and right afterwards they're like you're perfect for the job you fit great and it was really crazy to me and it was a really fun experience i wish the u.s would just chill out sometimes a little bit i think i had one job interview like that before when i walked in and they didn't do the interview had nothing to do with the job 
And me and the uh, manager, we was just chopping it up, talking about life. And he was trying to see. And, and I feel like when you do it like that, you're trying to just get a, a feel for the person. My bad if it's clicking. You're trying to get a feel for the person and who they really are. You know what I'm saying? All those questions in America. Oh, if this happens at the job, what would you do in this situation? Well, I don't know. I ain't never been in that situation. You want me to lie to you? Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lie to you. I worked at the Marriott one. I worked at the Marriott for five years. I was almost in management. Well, you could say I wasn't managing. I did the overnight shift. I'm the manager at the overnight. So I, I did morning shifts too. But, you know, when they interview you, and, you know, they were teaching me how to interview people. And they, they teach you how to interview for other positions, how to get interviewed. They tell you, literally, when they ask you these questions, if you've never been to the, in that situation, lie. Not verbatim, that's what they say, but they give you step-by-steps on how to answer the questions. And you just, they give you like, it's like five parts to every question that you answer. So you answer the question with these five parts. And you just remember those five parts in your head. And then when they ask you the question, make up the five parts in your head. <laughs> that's what they, that's how you do interviews. It's crazy. They don't even really want to know who you are. <laughs> My bad, hold on. Babe! What? I got a letter from Jeff Bezos! What? Yeah. No, you didn't. And this is why, you know what, I ain't even gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna skip, skip, because now I know you're lying. We know what you're saying. Brad, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you I'm gonna keep this really short and sweet. When I knew America messed me up, was when I was living in Canada and they gave me 12 months paid to hang out with my kid. Oh, and then just in case you could take 18 months and they'll still pay for it. Is this maternity leave or what? And your employer has to give you your job back. I can't be real, but it is. That sounds like a fairy tale. In America, you get three to three to six months for mater- I think she's talking about maternity leave. You get three to six months, and you got to be back. Period. <laughs> you get three to six, depending on the job. You get three sometimes. I think it's, it might be two sometimes. And men, we get maternity leave. A lot of men don't know that, but we get it too. We only get like two months. That's crazy. Eighteen, man. Listen. <laughs> I'd be out there, Papa was a rolling stone, popping out kids and getting maternity leave. I'd never be at work. Man, I just had another kid. I need another 18. I'm sorry. See, and that's the American mindset. (laughs) That's why Americans don't get that type of stuff. (laughs) If you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really... It was when I moved back to America. I lived in Japan for 15 years. The first day I was in Japan, the first train I ever rode on, I saw people wearing masks. And I asked my then fiance, oh my gosh, is there some kind of like epidemic? And she said, no, this is just what we do during cold and flu season. People wear masks to protect themselves. I was like, oh, for 15 years, I could buy masks at the convenience store, the grocery store. I always had a box on the shelf by my front door. So if I was not feeling very well, I'd grab a mask on my way to work. No big deal. So when I to protect other people came home, makes sense. The pandemic started. I thought, finally, all Americans will get the importance of mask. Surely they won't politicize that. Oh, guess again. I was wrong. Guess American again. Currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? Nine months before I moved to Ireland, I was. I'm not even gonna lie. This is more shocking than I thought it would be. I didn't know it was gonna be this shocking. Uh, especially that 18 months, but then what I said following that 18 months paternity leave made it maybe realize this is why we don't get that, <laughs> that mindset. <laughs> there on a vacation and the person I was with Say it again. really messed you up. Nine months before I moved to Ireland, I was there on a vacation and the person I was with, we had a car and we stayed at a golf resort kind of in the middle of nowhere because it was the off season. So it was actually really affordable. There was a gated front entrance 
to this golf resort and there was a small little village on the other side of it and because we were pretty far back on the property and it was january so the weather was kind of crappy we often would drive if we needed to run to the store for anything or to a restaurant we became okay. friends with the front gate attendant because we were in and out all the time so one day we're driving to go to dinner and i had asked him hey what's the legal limit for like drinking and driving here I wasn't planning to do anything stupid, but I'm also a public health major, and knowing that Ireland is known for its drinking culture, I was curious, so I thought I'd ask. Wait, wait, let me guess. Uh, It's not tolerated at all. I could be wrong. The guy looked at me completely dumbfounded. He's like, what? So I clarified the amount of alcohol you can have in your system and still legally drive. And he says, none? What is one time? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I always wonder why we had, like, in America, we got, like, 0.08 or something, like, whatever it is. Like, it should just be nothing. You shouldn't be able to drink at all. That's just me personally, because people die. There's people that drink one drink and can't handle it and can't see, can't walk, can't nothing. And that made you realize that America really messed you up. When my grandfather was dying, we went to Scotland to go and see, you know, him for one last time. And at one point, my grandfather had a prescription that needed picking up. So I pop out of the car, run into the pharmacy, and I've got my purse on me. I don't have very much uh, money with me. I, it, eh, I just didn't. And I went in and I'm just like, okay, um, I'm here to pick up for my grandfather. This is his name. And I've got my passport out, ready to hand it to them, like to prove that I'm who I say I am. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how's John doing? Here you go, here's his stuff. Hey, let him know that if he ever needs help with this you can just call us we'll send it on down to him i said thank you and then i stood there and they're like why are you still here i was like but i need to pay and like no you don't he's he's old everything's free what i never felt more uncomfortable leaving a building than i did in that day so everything medical is free for old people here you know you can't even get certain insurances if you're over a certain age and have certain illnesses in america as an old person like if i smoke i can't do any like it's harder for me to get like life insurance. That's crazy. Just, it was awful. If you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really? So I've been living in Italy for about 11 years now, 12 years. And I moved here to be with my husband. And uh, in the U.S., I got my tubes tied after my third child and decided I didn't want any more, but he didn't have any, so we decided to do IVF, and I got pregnant with twins. At 13 Slow. weeks, I lost one, oh. and once I lost that child, they considered me a high-risk pregnancy Yeah. and took me off work from that moment on until three months after she was born, and I was paid 100% of my check. What? 100% of my check. And then, until she was one, I got to come home two hours a day to breastfeed her. 100% paid. What is... When was the last time you did a proper... What am I living in? Like, what's going... Plans of your intestine. I'm not a woman, but golly. I identify with the pay rates that they get not just i'm just playing that's not funny don't cancel me but like come on man hey realize that america really mess it's like it's like y'all countries really care about y'all like and, and there's no secret hidden agenda behind anything uh, that's tough man. if you up. Oh, i was in grenada for a couple okay queen how you doing weeks and every single day between 12 and 2 they would always close down everything would just whew, closed down and i was just like what is going on and they're like well we need to go home and have lunch with our family you know just enjoy just relax a little bit and that was when i realized every other country out here really understands the value of spending time with your loved ones and just actually taking a break yeah mental health man except america america just teaches us to work 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 for labor instead of actually living so don't procrastinate on your happiness, sis. Your worth is not in labor. It's a luxury. Do what you want to do and be happy. 
God, what is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? So when we first got here, we had to go straight into quarantine. You know, here where? You know, two weeks, no big deal. We thought everything was taken care of. Well, Germany. we got a letter okay. from the electric company while we were in quarantine. Couldn't understand it. It was all in German. We tried to translate it. Google Translate wasn't really doing anything for us. We couldn't understand it. So we were like, we'll just go in person, you know, once the two weeks are over. Well, on the last day of quarantine, our power gets shut off. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, why? So we finally, after a few hours, get a hold of somebody who can speak English. And they laugh at us. And they were like, are you American? And we were like, yeah. And they were like, yeah, we don't shut your power off just because you don't pay. You have to go through a whole system before we shut your power off. I've never been so embarrassed because we really were like, we'll pay anything. Like, please turn our power back on. And they were like, yeah, we don't shut power off here. It's good to know. So why was your power off then? American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize? Nah, America shuts your power off. You can have a brand new baby just, you know, just out the womb. You need to pump. You need electric. Now nah, they're cutting it off after one month. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Now, nah, except in, in the quarantine and COVID, they left everything on for like months and months and months. Realized that America really messed you up. All right. So when I lived in France, I went to a cafe with my friend and outside the cafe, there were a whole bunch of baby strollers with human babies inside of the strollers. And I was super freaked out. Wait, what? Strollers. I went to a cafe with my friend. Really messed you up. All right, so when I lived in France, France, I went to a cafe with my friend, and outside the cafe, there were a whole bunch of baby strollers with human babies inside of the strollers. What's this, cafe and baby? I was super freaked out, and I asked my friend, why would anybody leave their babies outside unattended in their strollers? Aren't you afraid of something happening to them? And my friend looked at me and said, uh, why would you assume that anything would happen to a baby? Who would be so horrible to do something to a baby? Yeah. You're in a I still don't know about that one. I don't know, man. You right, but like like the natural way of thinking is why would anybody do anything to a baby but like Y'all hear the thunder? Man, I'm tired of this. I'm gonna take a flight to sick. Look at this, lightning almost ah. American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really matters? So I don't currently live abroad, but I did live in Japan from September of 2019 to March of 2020. And the amount of things I realized while living abroad is astronomical. So I live in New York and this varies state to state, ah. but generally the average cost for an individual for health insurance is about $500. If you have a family, your family plan is gonna cost you about $1,000 a month. In Japan, I paid $23, $23 a month for health insurance that covered everything. Oh and don't even God. get me started on the American food industry because it's disgusting. Not only could I feed myself for two weeks on 50 bucks, but food regulations in Japan are so strict. I ate the exact same way I would in America and I still lost 40 pounds, 40 pounds me an item you bought that you oh man that's 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 why i knew that i shouldn't be this big it's all the nap the gym it's all the products that stuff oh man i'm moving to japan if that's what it's got to take <laughs> yeah get me right give me all natural you know to eat all natural in America, I'm not saying anything, I still, I like America. Like, but to eat healthy in America costs more than to eat junk food. You get what I'm saying? So like a burger at McDonald's, a Big Mac can cost $5. I'm just putting prices, I don't know what the price is. A Big Mac can cost $5. A salad, a healthy salad, a healthy salad costs $11. To get apples or, or, or a fruit cup at Chick-fil-A instead of french fries is an extra 75 cents for the fruit cup for the more healthier options. It's crazy. You were greatly disappointed in due to poor product description or false advertising. I bought a banana duck. I got it off of Facebook Marketplace. And these were the pictures of oh, the like previous videos. Definitely 
the rudest. I don't care what you. Okay. Anyway, TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. If you're new to the channel, because my title brought you here and it says American Reaction, that's cool. Welcome. Merch down in the description. I'm gone.